what is up guys so this video is actually going to be filmed today and published today this isn't going to be the vlog um, there are a lot of new people who have subscribed to my channel so for those of you who don't know for a while now um, back when I first started doing the daily vlog I wanted to do a Q&A kind of thing every Wednesday it was a Wednesday Q&A so I wanted to do one last week but I didn't get to so today I'm going to be doing this Q&A and all it is is going to be a video of me answering some of my comments and such and such things so that's what today is going to be sorry that I didn't upload yesterday on um, my plan on it but I had kind of an interesting day which I will get to I still have a couple vlogs to upload and uh, it was just not a good day um, currently I am actually not in Colorado I'll explain why in the future but today I just wanted to do this video where I answer some of your questions so let's get to that okay so the first question is from major weakness and he asked during the 50 state road trip which state are you looking forward to the most and which one are you looking forward to the least I think the one I'm looking forward to the most is uh, Colorado if that wasn't obvious I loved it there and um, I still am planning on going back, just something came up, but I really love Colorado and that's the one I'm looking forward to the most and I'm not sure, I might find other places I actually enjoy more, but for the most part the idea of Colorado, just the beauty and the nature and everything and just the fact that it's not hot there, I love it. And so Colorado is probably number one so far and the least favorite, I'm going to have to say Texas. I don't know if that counts, I lived there for about five or six years now and um, now maybe it was seven years seven or eight years now either way I never really loved it there and so I don't know if that counts but it's just Texas I'm gonna have to say it's probably the least favorite of all of them I'm about to get so many people mad at me but I just it's just it's not nice there guys and it's hot it's always hot okay great question from Carlos Alvarez after you've the <laughs> After you visit all 50 states, what do you have planned? Also, are you taking a ferry top to Hawaii? Okay, so after the 50 state road trip, my plan, I really want to get a garage or something. I want to try racing. I'm on top of being a Jeep guy. I just love um, working on cars, but people have told me since I'm mechanically inclined, I should really try to be a mechanic. And I've just at first I was all for it but I just don't like working on boring cars I want to do something fun if I'm going to be doing mechanics I want to enjoy it I don't want to just be working on people's minivans and Priuses I want to be like building fast cars working doing cool stuff so I'd really like to build up a following enough that I can get a good connection to either work for somebody or preferably work for myself and I would like to work on race cars and preferably even race race cars. I would like to learn how to do it and I think that the racing aspect has kind of died out. Um, if you haven't seen Ford v Ferrari, love that movie and just racing back then was completely different and with all the rules now, like you sometimes can't even have a V8, it's kind of sad, but I would love to try to do racing. I would love to build a car. So that is my plan after the 50 state road trip. If I can, I would really like to get into the racing scene. Oh yeah, and I forgot, as for Hawaii, I have no idea how we're going to get to Hawaii. I would love to get to Hawaii, but I think I'm going to have to wait until probably, that'll probably be the last place I'll go because I can drive to every other state. That's one I have to like get transported over to, and especially with the Jeep. I think I'm going to have to wait until I get enough supporters that I'll be able to afford to get over there because right now it's not even a possibility. And even if it was, it would be like as soon as I come back, I would have no money. I probably would get there and have no money. So I'd have to wait until I get enough sponsors or supporters to be able to get to Hawaii, but I definitely plan on getting there somehow. Okay, so Bruce Jividen asked, is the insulation working out in the Jeep and is it helping with noise or temperature or both? Um, I think it's definitely helping a lot with noise. There's still obviously the whole thing shaking stuff, but it is a lot quieter with the insulation and I'm pretty convinced it is helping with heat. Most of the heat that comes in is not from the floorboards. It is actually from the roof of the Jeep and once it cools off in here it does a lot better so I definitely am convinced that the insulation is helping a lot. I'm mostly co convinced about the front. The rear insulation with the wood um, I'm getting a little sketchy about. Um, I'm a bit skeptical because I'm not entirely convinced it's helping with the heat and if it is and I'm, I'm sure it is helping with a little bit with the heat and the noise I am a little bit worried about the wood back there and the moisture and mildew getting inside I might have to rip it out because I don't need mold in the Jeep cross your fingers on that one but we might have to rip it out okay so Levy Brown asks, is your Jeep an automatic or a standard 
Well, actually, I bought the Jeep as an automatic. I really wanted a standard, but I got a really good deal um, on my Jeep when I bought it. So at first it was the three-speed um, A999, or is it 9A, I don't remember. It was the three-speed automatic transmission for the four-liter engine. Long story short, I basically broke my transmission from a sippy cup moment, and um, I was just kind of holding on to it as long as possible until finally I decided, you know what, I'm either gonna get the um, four-speed automatic or the standard and I really wanted the standard I do have a few regrets on one hand I love the standard transmission but on the other hand I had a couple incidents where having an automatic would have been drastically better mostly uphill it's actually the reason why I'm not still in Colorado um, I didn't want to die or break something um, I'm gonna be taking measures to make sure that I can still use the standard transmission but there are a lot of pros and cons to both automatic and standard but when it comes to standard there's more cons and the automatic the biggest con is the fact that it's not as fun but practically wise automatic is better fun wise you, I love the standard so I mean I do have a couple regrets but to answer the question briefly um, yes it is a standard AX15 transmission it's newly rebuilt so it should last me a good while however I probably am damaging the clutch a lot and so hopefully it'll last a lot longer maybe um, so John John asked whatever happened with the drive shaft did it come in yes actually I did get the drive shaft in and I did get it installed um, I did make a video where I showed that it came in I picked it up and everything I really needed to get out and just like actually start the road trip and so I just beelined it to Cal um, I just beelined it to Colorado and after that I just didn't feel like making the video where that happened because that was that was pretty much all that happened. The drive shaft came in and I put it on the end. And so there was nothing really interesting about that to me. But yes, I did get the drive shaft. It did come in and so it's installed. It's good. And so far, I haven't had any problems with it. I love it so far and hopefully it'll last um, everywhere else I'm going. It has made it at least 500 miles already. So, so far, so good. Okay, so from what I can tell, I answered all the questions. If you guys have ever asked me a question in the comments and I didn't reply, the reason is because I wanted to make this video where I can answer it in real time. So I do try to read all your comments. I love reading the comments and stuff. I don't always reply to them. Um, on the messages, I'd like to do it like this so I can get a video out of it and stuff. And so if anyone else is wondering about the question, they can watch this video and get it answered for them. So if I did not answer a question, it's probably because I didn't see it. So just in the comments down here, any questions you have or any questions you might have asked that I haven't answered, just ask them down below and I will be sure to get to them. And yeah, that's pretty much all I have going. I did see a lot of people um, telling me that they're in Colorado or near Colorado. I saw someone told me that actually there is going to be an overland expedition in Colorado really soon. I think it was supposed to be somewhere mid-August and stuff. So I don't think I'm going to make it to that because like I said, I'm not in Colorado right now. Um, I very much would love to, but if you have been watching the vlog, you would see that I actually do not have four-wheel drive at the moment, and there's a couple other issues that I need to fix before I go out again. And the biggest thing about having the Jeep is the freedom to go places that most vehicles can't, and right now my Jeep can't. My Jeep just is not capable of going in those places, and so I want to get these things fixed before I go back out again. So sorry if some of you asked if we could, you know, go wheeling and stuff. I would love to. I just can't at the moment. I'm trying to get to a point where I can. I would love to meet some of you guys. I think it'd be great. Obviously, you know, I'm going to have to be a little cautious because I don't want to be murdered or whatever. But I would like to go wheeling, go to these expeditions and stuff, meet people, meet other people with the same interest. I think it'd be great. Also, in case you don't know, I have a Patreon link down below as well as... Um, if you want to do a single donations, I have a PayPal link down there as well. I'm thinking about setting up a GoFundMe. Um, I don't feel obligated to anything you guys are willing to give, but any support you can do to help with this journey is fantastic. Obviously, I need to eat and pay for gas. That way I can go on these trips and stuff. You know, money is not an object to me, really. It's only a way for me to be able to do the things I want to do. And so I'd really appreciate any support you guys can give. If nothing else, just the comments and stuff. I love reading the comments. It really helps me out. It really helps inspire me to want to continue this journey. And I hope I can continue creating amazing content like this. So please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys later. I should have the next vlog up tomorrow. And I'll keep you posted. Have a great day, guys. Say bye-bye, puppy. Say bye-bye. Yep. All right, let's go eat. I'm hungry. <laughs>